hello 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 welcome back to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and also support my small business at latricelimit.com france's public and private sectors race to adapt as winter energy crisis looms okay people are trying to figure out what we gonna do okay because we ain't got no power we ain't got no electricity or we don't have that much how are we going to maintain these millions of people through all of this okay so there's some answers to it and some not so much it says both the french government and the private sector have been forced to find ways to adapt as gas and energy prices have risen steadily for months threatening several sectors shutdowns in a bid to reduce costs including swim pools gymnasiums and ski resorts energy prices in france and across europe germany definitely okay hit all-time records in late august and it shows that the crisis is not over yet france's year ahead energy prices spiked 25 percent to 1130 euros all right it says according to the european energy exchange when it was topped at a thousand French President Emmanuel Macron has called on the country to reduce energy consumption in the coming weeks and months by at least 10%, warning that otherwise the nation could be facing rationing, you know, cutting it down, you're going to use this much, you're going to use this much, that's all, and that's what it's going to be. It says, energy intensive sectors such as swimming pools and ice rings are being hit hard by rising gas prices. So, they went and shut down 30 pools we're mad about that because it's you know you have people who work out when they swim you know what i mean they do the laps and all that and that's their workout that's their physical activity something that's not hard on the joints you have an aging population a lot of people like to do that okay you have people who also just do it for sport you know for school or whatever the case may be even leisure even you know so shutting it down that is problematic about 10 percent of the 4,000 public swimming pools in france are managed through the public service rather than directly by a community where they are located all right and it was said they're just temporarily closing them down because yo we can't be wasting money on this we can't be wasting money on this i did a video check it out about how the eiffel tower is going dark now they're not shutting it down the entire day you know but they are turning off the lights a couple hours earlier but I mean, this thing is huge. So it's saving quite a bit of power, actually. But it says, uh, it says our budgets are exploding. Inflation is massive, affecting all local authority buildings, whether they're for sports, cultural events, or other things. It's upsetting that, you know, people are losing their energy, that there is an energy crisis, any kind of crisis, energy crisis, like what we have in the States, for example, water crisis still going on in Flint, still happening now in Mississippi. You know in, for it to be energy it's like oh my goodness and then for you to be in a place that has some serious winters okay like you're not like in like texas for example where it's like okay well you know we could put on we could put on a coat you know what i mean but when it's like you get serious winters you can't be without heat y'all <laughs> okay so i don't know some things they may have to take old school get some you know wood chop it up and you know set fire to that and have like a nice little fire pit bonfire kind of thing going on you know obviously you want to be careful of the fumes and whatnot but they may have to do that because this i mean they said rise in prices i was even reading a story they have like public charging for your like electric vehicles and stuff like that and they were saying like yo this stuff had to be shut down because it's too expensive <laughs> you know it's too expensive and that's what's driving this you know in regards to germany for example what's driving that is you know the Nord Stream 1 pipeline and all that kind of stuff um but yeah I mean I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions what do you think can be done with this I mean you know unnecessary street lights they're shutting down uh you know they're making the uh the Eiffel Tower go dark earlier no swimming pools no ringside you know none of that stuff so I'm curious what are they going to do what do you think they're going to do I would love to know down in the comments down below and until then